It's Taylor and Sarah. And welcome to our channel. Let's get into the video. For today's video, we are doing a homemade soft pretzel video. <laughs> video. We're just gonna have you come cook with us and it's gonna be lots of fun. Yeah, let's go. Let's get into it. Okay, so everything we need is flour, brown sugar, a whisk, a bowl, some salt, some active dry yeast, butter, a big mixer with a bread mixer hook. Just pop that on and let's get started. <laughs> so I have one and a half cups of warm water in here and now I'm gonna put the active dry yeast in and whisk it together. So I'm gonna whisk this yeast and water together. And now it's gonna sit for one minute. Next, I'm taking one teaspoon of salt. Oh, that's a lot. I'm gonna whisk that in, and then I'm gonna take one tablespoon of brown sugar and whisk that in as well. So now I'm cutting just one tablespoon. Yes, one tablespoon of butter and I'm gonna put it in this glass bowl and melt it. And then I'm gonna whisk that into the mixture as well. Okay. Okay, next I'm gonna take this liquid mixture and I'm gonna put it in this bigger mix bowl thing. Mix bowl thing, wow. Now I'm gonna add three cups of flour, one at a time and mixing in between. Okay, so the recipe calls for three to four cups of flour and I'm gonna do three and a half because it's not, I mean, it is still really sticky. Okay. okay, so I put some flour on a cutting board and I know it is ready because when I touch it, it's not super sticky. So I'm just gonna put the dough onto the floured surface. Now I'm just gonna start kneading it, but you just kinda mess with it. It's like Play-Doh, playing with Play-Doh. That's all you have to do to knead it. There's probably more professional ways to knead dough, but the little kid version is just to play with it. <laughs> After we knead the dough, we are going to put it in a bowl and put it on top of the refrigerator for about 15 minutes to let the dough rise. Okay, so we just added half a cup of baking soda and nine cups of water and brought it to a boil. Okay, so we took the dough out of the bowl and we put it on a floured surface and now we're going to cut it in three sections. With the super sharp knife. <laughs> Take one section and roll it like, like, a like a snake. How thick. Pretty thick. Ooh, this feels good. Now cut it in a bunch of different thingies. Sections. Yep. Oh yeah. Cut that dough, Sarah. You go. You are amazing. Ooh, this one looks bad. Okay. So now we are going to take the little snakes. We're gonna roll them pretty thin. Make sure there's not a lot of air bubbles in there, so kind of squish it down. And you can keep ripping it in half just to make it smaller. Really get it thin as possible. <laughs> is still rolling the dough into pretzels. Over there we have some small ones made and then some bigger ones. And it's a very long process. Right there we still have dough that we need to roll. And we're getting there slowly. All right, so we have this pan right here and I just put this baking sheet over top 
but you can also use parchment paper instead of the baking sheet. Now we're gonna start putting the pretzels into the water mixture for about 30 seconds and then quickly put them on the baking sheet and then put them right into the oven. All right, so this tray is full, so we're gonna pop it in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes until golden brown. Okay, so we're gonna put melted butter on top of all the pretzels and then add the cinnamon sugar. Yep. This recipe, thumbs up. Mm. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Our Instagram will be linked down below. And if you want to, go ahead and click that bell notification so you know every time we post a new video. See you in our next video. Bye. <laughs> My pretzel brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Pretzel dance. Pretzel dance. Pretzel dance. Some pretzel.